So here are the automation features some of you have been really waiting for. Let's go to Automation, Create New Workflow, and Workflow Trigger. We have a new trigger here. We used to have just when subscriber joins a group, when subscriber clicks a link, updates a field, the anniversary of a date or exact match of a date. We now have when subscriber completes a form. And you can choose your form here. I'm going to go with weekly newsletter pop-up form. And this is pretty cool because if you have many groups connected to one form, if anyone comes in through that specific form that you have set up here, they will get this whole workflow over here. And let's just save this here and add one email. I'm not going to build out the email right now. Let's just save it and go back. Here is the new automation. Of course, I can't turn it off or on because I haven't completed the steps. But now let's go to the forms area and let's click on form, the title of a form here. And here we go. Here is the new automation tab. If you go in here, you'll see the automations that are connected, the workflows that are connected to this form. Here is the new one I just built out. And another thing is you can also create an automation using this create new automation from the form. So when you click that, automatically you will have when subscriber joins a form, in this case, the weekly newsletter form, and you can start building out this workflow. Let's go back again. This will take you to all the automations. Here are the two ones I just created and I didn't finish. But now let's look at the other things we have added. Let's, for example, use this automation right over here. Let's click Edit. And here we have an automation with two emails, two two-day delays, a condition. And this condition says that if the subscriber clicks, opens, sorry, in this case it's opens, this email, they will go to the engaged group. The action says copy to engaged. Now, if they don't open this specific email, they will go to this condition. And this condition says, well, okay, let's say they opened, they opened this, they go here, they didn't open it, it goes here. Now this condition checks if they opened this second email. Now in the past, what you had to do is something like this. You needed two conditions, right? Now what you can easily do is just click this condition and add up to five new conditions in that one condition block, right? So in this case, we can have add another condition, select workflow activity because we're working on this workflow, select the workflow email. The, in this case, it's surpri surprise bonus and select was opened. So in this case, if someone clicks one of these emails, they will go to engaged and if they didn't click any of these emails, they will go to this pile, right? Now you can also do something uh, even better. Something that you couldn't do before is all rules. Click all rules. And this means that they have to open this email and open this email. Okay. So let's click save. And in this case, if they open both emails, they go to the engaged group. If they didn't open one of these emails, they will go to uh, this pile. In this case, we don't need this, right? We don't need this condition, so let's just edit the workflow by using this turn off button. And I'm going to delete this part. Oh, but before I delete it, I wanted to show you one more thing. In this case, if they clicked the second email, they would go to this branch and they and it would go to, uh, I would copy it to the engaged group. Right. So they go to the same group. So this is basically duplicated. And this is pretty easy to do when you have such a simple workflow like this. But sometimes you have this whole big workflow and you just want them to go to that workflow, to, to that branch of the workflow. And normally what you would have to do is actually uh, recreate that whole workflow, copy it, basically recreate the whole thing. What we have now is we can send that subscriber to that specific part to that specific branch of the workflow. So instead of copy to group engaged, what we could do is go to action and have we have this new step move to another step. I know you've been waiting for this and you can set filter by step. In this case, we'll choose action because this is an action, right? And then we select the action. We have two actions. One is non-interested and one is engaged. Now every single block has this little number here. So you know what exact block you want to be dealing with. In this case, 
it's this one. We only have two, and they're both uh, they're called a uh, separate name. So this is pretty easy. But you can also see that if you hover over this specific block, you will see how it turns red here. Okay, and if we if we hover over this one, you'll see the red borders over this block here. There we go again. So in this case, we're just going to copy to group engaged, um, and that's it. So in this case, what's going to happen is the subscriber will jump from here to here. And if you build out a bigger branch, they will actually go through that part of the workflow. Okay, so now let's let's delete this condition here. Let's just, just delete only yes branch, including steps below. Yes, that's what we want to do. There we go. So if they open these two emails, they will go to the in engaged group. And if they haven't opened them, if they didn't open them, they will go to the not interested group. But wait, there's more. Like I said, if we go to this condition again, we can stack up to five conditions, and we have two new conditions. And they are group members and segment members. So not only, for example, not only do they need to open these two emails to go to this group, but you can choose that they have to also be in some kind of group. For example, dog lovers group, right? So they must be in that group and they must open these two e emails for that to work. And let's click Save. And that's pretty cool because if you have one form uh, and you have the trigger of the workflow connected to a form and you have five groups in that form, then what you can do is have the same workflow for five of those groups, but then have only one little branch connected with a specific group that you choose here in this condition. But of course, there's more. So let's go to the first trigger here. Let's click the first block here. When subscriber joins a group, the success group, but let's choose a different group. For example, this secret landing page group here. Okay, and let's click Save. All subscribers, if any waiting, and all workflow steps will be removed from the workflow. Okay, let's proceed. And let's turn this on. So you know this button where you can actually add subscribers um, to the workflow that have been already in a group. Because normally what happens when someone joins a group is they get this workflow. But if they have already been in the group, well, they're not going to get the workflow unless you click here, add subscribers to the workflow. The new cool thing is if you actually press this, you can initiate the workflow, the workflow from the beginning, or you can initiate the workflow from a specific steps for the subscribers in this group. This, uh, this is also one of those features you've been really waiting for, so I know, I know you're happy about this one. And you can you know add any step, like let's say email and surprise bonus. So all these subscribers will go straight to this second email, the ones I just added. And we also have some updates in the workflow activity. Let's click that. Okay, this is an, an empty demo account, so let's switch to another demo account. All right, and what we have here is the usual, right? You can see the people who completed the workflow who are queued, the people who canceled, and if they canceled, you can see the workflow, the, the step they canceled on, and of course, you can add them back to the workflow. And before, you could only add them to the part, the place where they were canceled, right? Now what you can do is actually add them to any step you wish. You can choose the step here, again, email, let's say, and one of the emails you have in the workflow. Let's cancel. Then we also have the history. This is really, really cool. Even when I was doing this demo, I messed up a workflow and I was able to preview the workflow here and restore it. This is something I've been personally waiting for. And of course, the overview is now much cleaner. You can click this number here to see all the people who completed the workflow, the subscribers in the queue. You can click this and it will go straight to those subscribers. And of course, the monthly workflow stats and the emails in the workflow. And that's it. This update has been huge for me. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you are also excited. Uh, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching the video and have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.